This is The Lockpicking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is a 100-year-old combination lock that can be opened in the dark. It's the W.A. Harrison Insurance Lock, and it was invented by Alessandro Valente, an Italian living in London. Once I learned it was invented by someone in Europe, the name started to make a little more sense. It's called an insurance lock, and in Europe, going back hundreds of years, insurance companies would often stipulate the types of locks required to protect an insured asset. And as you would imagine, those locks were generally quite good. As examples, I have this Squire Valiant and a much newer lock, the Abus 3780. You can see it says insurance lock right on the front. Same goes for this Valiant, insurance padlock. These are obviously in a different class from the Harrison lock, which isn't particularly resistant to brute force or manipulation. They probably couldn't have called this an insurance lock in Europe, but it was sold in the US. I see the name as mere puffery, something akin to labeling a master lock number three as, quote, high security. Calling something an insurance lock implied it was found by insurance companies to be secure. As for how this works, first you would need to rotate all the wheels as far up as they will go. Once you do that and hit the stop, you need to rotate them down the number of clicks associated with the combination number. So we have 5401, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, no clicks, and one click. Then pull out this bar and it is open. Obviously, all of this could be done without looking at the lock or in the dark. Now, manipulating it open is just as fast and easy. You simply pull on the locking bar and then turn the binding wheel until you feel it click into a gate. It can be done without tools, but it's a bit easier if you have something that grabs on the end of the bar. I didn't want to use pliers to mess up an antique lock, but I did put a little notch in this feeler gauge so I can gently pull on it. There we go. That one's in a gate. It's really a novice level attack. It's very easy to feel where those gates are. There we go. Now I should note that the combination can be changed by sliding the bar all the way out and rearranging or replacing the wheels. Here's one of those wheels. I don't know if replacements were sold, but at a minimum, you could just swap up the numbers. In any case, that's all I have for you today on this W.A. Harrison insurance lock. If you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.